and welcome to this week's video. This one is part of a new series we are calling Quick and Dirty. The videos are two minutes long and include a piece of information that will change the way you understand the world. Did you know that you can tell something about the taxonomy of an insect by the spelling of its common name in English? So usually when an insect's common name includes a space between the words, it means that the name refers to the actual taxonomic group to which the insect belongs. Here's an example. This is a fruit fly. As you can see, there is a space between the words fruit and fly. A fruit fly is a true fly. The taxonomic group it belongs to is Diptera, which is an insect order that includes flies and mosquitoes. But when the name isn't spelled with a space, it means that it does not reflect the true taxonomic group that insect belongs to. For example, butterfly. Butterfly is spelled without a space in the name. And clearly it is not a fly. It is in another insect order called Lepidoptera that includes the butterflies and the moths. Here's another one. Ladybug is spelled as one word. And a ladybug is in fact a type of beetle. It is not a bug at all. Of course, there are always exceptions, like every source I know to be true deciding to spell housefly altogether as one word, making me doubt this entire video, because of course a housefly is a true fly. But it's okay, because we do call these little tricks quick and dirty precisely because they are not applicable across the board in all circumstances. Nevertheless, they are still worth mentioning as they work more often than not. To underscore my point, here's a stonefly, caddisfly, and firefly. They're not a fly. Did you like the video? Don't forget to subscribe so you can watch all the others. We put up a new English language video on the first and third Friday of every month. Are you still feeling curious? Come travel with us in person and learn more about this planet and the people, plants, and animals that call it home. Check out humannatureexpeditions.com to get a glimpse of the types of trips we have to offer.